Hey guys, welcome back. Wanted to first and foremost excuse my African gray parrot in the background. Uh, she loves to talk when I'm talking. So without further ado, as the, the title mentions, one of the things when you're new to coin roll hunting uh, that you'll come across, especially if you're one of the people that's going to save your copper, is anything prior to 1982 is 95% copper. After that, it's like 2%, 2.5%. Well, 1982 was both years. And so what you're going to want to do, you need to find you a jeweler scale, something like this that will calculate. Actually, I have to set it down to let it calibrate. It will calculate very, very fine amounts of grams. So what you're going to look for, I'm in the middle of a hunt right now. So a copper coin is going to weigh 3.11 grams, give or take a little bit. So that these are all 1982s that I have right over here. 3.11. Let's see if we can find a, a zinc one. And I'll show you. 3.1, that's copper. 3.08, that's that's copper. What you're looking for is something in the range of about two and a half, around two and a half grams. And that's why you need something that is a lot uh, more fine. So we'll find one here. These are all copper. 3.09, so that's still within tolerance. So it can be as low as about 3.01 without any questions as to what it is. So see that one's probably got some junk on it. There we go. So that's 2.48. So that's the easy way to tell that that's a zinc scent. That one as well. So another thing that uh, some of the people will tell you is that you can actually hear the difference if you drop it on the table. So like we know that these are copper. And here's a zinc. You hear the difference? This, more, this has more of a ping. And this has kind of a... Sounds just like a piece of zinc. I mean, it's... So there you have it. So those are worth less than face value those are worth more than face value so thanks for watching have some more cool videos planned and coming so we'll talk to you guys soon thank you